Here you guys with a little chorus rest. Look at these guys, ready? You can pick them up. Oh my god. We'll let you pick one. Okay. Today he is gonna pick me out a frag. We'll do a massive upgrade. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. As you guys can see, we are not home right now. We are at Mr. Paul Cafaro's house. We are picking up Paul right now. It's about to start pouring on us, but we are picking up Paul. We are heading down to Orlando. You guys can only take one guess and what that means. Where are we going, Paul? TSA. TSA, baby. We are going to Top Shelf. Now, I don't really know what I'm filming here today. We might just ask a stranger to pick us out a fish and a piece of coral. We do not know yet. What, like uh, three hours? Yeah. Ugh. And I'm driving today. I'm driving today, yeah. so that sucks. Paul's probably loving it. But uh, anyways, I will see you guys when we are at TSA. You guys think we would have uh, missed the <laughs> I'm pissed, bro. What, is it a little too watery? Dude. Today? Anyways, it you guys. It's watery, bro. <laughs> so one thing I freaking wait for. I don't know how you I ate I think that. I'm gonna eat the rest of it too, dude. Let's just say this Wawa trip was not the Wawa trip no, we, we wanted. because we went to the wrong Wawa. Literally. We went to the wrong Wawa. We go to the same Wawa every time. Two minutes away. See you guys at Top Shelf. We are here. It is raining. Uh, the weather is not as nice as we would want it to be, but it is okay because we are going to be inside. Of course, we are going to be inside of Top Shelf. You should already know where we're at. We are at the top of the shelf, Top Shelf Aquatics, everybody. We are going to go in here. I don't really know what I'm going to be filming for you guys today. I just know we're probably not going to be leaving empty-handed because when do we ever leave this place empty-handed? Hey, why don't you tell my subs, like, what do you think you're going to be getting here today? Something about, like, Slip a venomous fish I heard? Slippery venomous squirrel snake. Wow. Yep. And this is going going into the pond. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's cool. Yeah. Dude. It's a slippery venomous squirrel snake. A, a slippery venomous squirrel, squirrel snake. Oh. Crazy species. Yeah, yeah, dude. You'll find out. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you guys can go Google that and then find something. But uh, yeah, yeah we're here, you guys. Yep. We are at the top shelf of aquatics. Literally. Oh, 11 to 7 daily, baby. Come and check them out. You guys already know. Let's do this thing. Literally, like, every time you walk in here, it's just magical. Hello, hello, hello! What's up? <laughs> we got my buddy Colson. What is up, brother? Keep the camera. My main man right here. What's going on? What's going on? Hey guys, this fish is called a geometric hawkfish. It's actually one of my favorite fish. Look at that um, little guy. Believe dude. it or not, they're actually in the Anthea species, really? uh, not the hawkfish technically. But um, I mean, you wouldn't really know. If you How are, are they reef safe? They are reef safe. Yeah, I used to have one in my 20 on. One of my okay, favorite. Fish. Okay. You guys. Perfect for Hey, Anna, Maybe so. we'll grab that today. Who, who even knows? We've got a lot to look at. As you guys can see, they uh, they just kind of got their fish shimming in. So they are pretty, pretty well stocked over here today. Look at that purple tang. Whew. I literally just told Jed, like, I, I'm trying not to spend anything here, bro. Start coming every week. I'm always going to have new stuff. I mean, dude, <laughs> you, I, it's a smart thing to do, but dude, come on, bro. Look oh, at dude. Dude, looks sick on the camera. Oh price. my Look goodness. 250 Donnie frags. That's dude, insane. this is actually. Oh, I missed this side. What is bro. that, dude? What? Where do you even buy that? That's a bubble coral? Uh, someone yeah, actually traded it in. Someone burnt down their tank and that was part of the agreement was that we would take that. What? Dude, Holy it's huge. Smokes. What is the thing next to it? Uh, that's uh, just a mushroom, mushroom rock. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's sick right there. Bro. Basically, I don't know. There's just like a river there. This is just a rock? That's yeah. just a rock. Those are actual mushrooms on the Yeah, there's about 50 of them on there. Look at the size of these little fish in here, the little yellow tang. The selection of fish that they have here today is actually insane, you guys. So I don't know what we're going to be quite filming today. Look at how cool that guy is right there. Wow. Look at how cool these clownfish are. But anyways, we don't really know what we are going to be getting ourselves into today. But look at that stud right there. That is a stud. So is that guy right there. That is a, a need. We're definitely going to grab one of those one day. <laughs> then here's another little one. So amazing though. You guys already know where we're walking. Paul, where are we going? The farm. We're going to the farm. We are now at the farm, everybody. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Seriously, it just doesn't stop. Yeah, never, dude. It's usually like dark and dreamy in here. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Dude, I can see you in here. Oh, hey, yeah. Colson. Hey, 
Hey, Jen. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, look at the little Harlequin hanging out. Oh, what? Dude, that is so cool. Oh, got the copper band. So awesome, bro. So, so cool. You guys got all these little Tappy Monopora rags in here. Some Sephastria. Oh, you got two more little Harlequins, too. Oh, what the? You didn't even know you had those in there, bro? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You guys. I have one like in the coral. <laughs> this is uh this is insane, dude. Look at all of these mother colonies. They haven't died. The different colors inside of these frag tanks are actually just insane. What are those called like daisy cutting zoas? Yeah. There you go. Man, hey, good. I'm getting good, man. I'm getting good out here, huh? Yeah, so uh, uh flaming banana? Burning banana. Burning banana. All right, all right. I'm getting close. I'm getting close, dude. I'm getting good. All oh, these frags. Gosh, I could just buy them all, dude. This is so, so bad. So, so bad. Look at the size of those tanks in there. What kind of tanks are those? Black tanks? The little tiny guy. Dude, those are so cool. I actually don't know. That little school of tanks in there is so cool. Some of those are Scopus tanks. Gotcha. Like, look at that color. Look at that color pop, dude. A bunch of different colors. And they're all really grown out. This is just insane. I, you, you never get like tired in here. I could film this a hundred times and I promise you I still love coming in here. It is insane. Look at all the different colors and all the different frags. I don't know where we're going with this video, you guys, but just know we're not going to be leaving empty-handed. I'm probably going to have maybe Colson or Jed maybe pick me out a fish and a frag. So don't know what we're going to get today. I'm going to leave it up to just them. One? You don't want like seven? Bro, come on now. Don't, don't threaten me with a good time, ah, bro. Don't you. threaten me with a good time. <laughs> bro. That's like all Kevin's stuff. Dude, look at this, Paul, though. Like, look at this. I don't even I don't even know if you noticed. But I don't know if you noticed this, bro. Just like, look at the, the hues of color around it. Look at all that stuff that's taken over. That is... Look at that. I don't know what that name is yet. The yellow. Yeah. So bright, you can't even like almost. Oh my goodness! See, like I love this. Look at the size of that sea urchin, dude. Holy cow! Bro, look at the different colors going through that monopora right there. So I know I mentioned you guys that uh, we were kind of all over the place with this video. We knew we were going to film something, but we didn't know what we were going to film. So today, I'm going to leave it in the hands of Jed. My buddy Jed, hey. you guys should all know him. Hey. We've, uh, he's been on the channel quite a few times the last couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, you've been here kind of a lot. I'm going to make you go, bro. Yeah, dude. That's, that's, that's what we were looking for. But anyways, <laughs> we are going to leave it into the hands of Jed today. He is going to pick me out a frag or two, and we are also going to pick a fish out as well. Uh, so what are we thinking for number one? Well. Kind of classic piece, one that Paul loved a lot. I know you were saying how much you loved it in Paul's tank. Oh my God, how can I get a piece of that? It usually all starts with Paul. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's usually where it all stems from. Yeah, so because you couldn't say enough good things about that piece, we're gonna start with the grafted cap over here. The grafted cap. This on one's pretty bro. sick because it's got green with like just a couple. It's kind of got like a little splash on yeah, it. Yeah. That thing is pretty cool. So we'll take that little small frag. I don't know how, man. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you work here. I mean, I know how you work here because it's amazing, but like, I don't know how you actually are not broke. Uh, I decided to downgrade all my tanks. One, because I'm moving, so I didn't want to move big tanks. But two, the less space in my house for fish I have, the better for me probably. Because, you know, Cause you're going to spend all the money. It, there's dude. zero impulse control. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, dude, if you guys couldn't tell over the last three weeks, I mean, I've probably spent, I mean, what, man, four grand on coral? Like, it's, it's crazy. So, you guys. Make sure you guys like and comment on this video. Of course, make sure that red subscribe button is smashed, as well as Jed's uh, page. I put that oh, in my last awesome. video. You yeah. guys, make sure you guys go and sub to Jed. Check it out. Uh, I course. pretty much do a bunch of traveling with a bunch of fish stuff as well. So I have pretty high-end clients. You know, I have some pretty crazy, insane custom tanks that I go visit, along with my own stuff. Uh, I just came back from Alaska where you got to see orcas hunting. That, that was crazy. Sick. That video was crazy. Yeah. So was definitely crazy. go check that out. Make sure you guys go and check his page out for sure. But. I mean, to say the least, this place is just insane. It's always a good time whenever we come in here. Don't even know where to start whenever we come in here. If I told Jed I didn't want to grab that many corals today, 
it's like I can't contain myself. I need to grab all these corals that I find. Everyone that's so cool, I'm like, I need that, I need this, I need that. So, you guys, what's new? We're not leaving Top Shelf empty-handed at all. Not even close to being empty-handed. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I know we have, I know we've had a lot of this Top Shelf videos and all these coral videos, but I promise you guys, I'll start switching it up soon. It's just, I've had the opportunities and why say no, so. Sooner or later, we'll be posting some other content. Oh, what are you grabbing, bro? It smells like fish. Ready? What are you doing? What are you grabbing? I'm buying a fish, dude. What? I'm gonna give him a little sneak peek. Oh, I'm a little too short for this. Oh, yeah, good luck. I get yeah, it. don't get spiked here, Colson. Don't get spiked. Look how flared up the naso is, dude. <laughs> you got him right here in the corner. You got him cornered. Yes! 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 Dude, I'm not gonna lie, Jingle. <laughs> Don't hey! Get spied, you'll get venomous. That boy! Fingers. So we switch it up, uh, Colson. Looks like you're gonna be grabbing my corals here. Hey! Yeah. Can't complain about that? Better anyway. Oh! We'll know if Jed sees this video. He'll if know. he's gonna yeah. be mad. If he's mad, then you'll know he watches your videos. Okay. Yeah. If dude. not, he doesn't dude, watch like 10 frags. Or, well, I can't get fired here, but. I mean, you gonna pay for 10 frags? No. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna grab is gonna be a Maleficent. Really pretty nice coral. Right? Yeah, I'll get you one. Nice one. We're gonna be grabbing this. You guys all know me, I love my acros. I think that second one from the top looks pretty good now. Yeah, that one's you good. tell me. This one? No, no, no. Oh, you mean this one. Yeah. There you go. We'll take all the right. third one right there's there. One on here. That's the second. That's, yeah, the third one now. Oh. <laughs> all right, so what are we picking on all now? Right, next, we're grabbing a cherry bomb. Definitely one of my favorites. Bright pink coloration at the farm. We have some really nice giant ones that there are super fuzzy. So. I'll probably film them in the farm somewhere along probably, the lines, yeah. but... I don't even know how they keep track of these names. Last time I was here, I did the video. Everybody was like, how do you even remember those things? Honestly, you guys, I don't. I don't. I just, I kind of look back as I edit. I'm like, oh, well, that's that one and that's that one. But, uh. Hey, last time you didn't even know, like, how to say Syphastria. Dude, and look at me now. This time bro. you do, like, yeah. two-week difference. Look at what two weeks does, you guys. I'm You're over here at Syphastria. You are such a fast yeah. learner. I'll give you that. Come on, bro. So we grabbed a, a nice frog of that cherry bomb. Paul. Paul, come on, bro. Let me live a little bit, dude. Paul's over here saying, oh, look at this kid and his corals. Dude, let me live a little this bit. guy and his bro. corals, bro. How about you and your fish, yeah, bro? Her, Every time I come over here. you and your pigs, bro? You and your corals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, listen, oh, hey, listen, listen. you're in your yeah, geckos, bro. Yeah, bro. You and your geckos, okay. bro. Mm -hmm. Your crested geckos. I'm going to come all. Whoa. Oh, right, break it up, break it up. We'll let you pick one. Okay. Don't, don't do me wrong here. Like, Give me the biggest chunk Can you stop? All right, I'm not going to pressure you. The front? No, I'm just kidding. Oh my goodness. How about the middle or the top? Dirty. Middle or the top? Yeah, that was my, that was was my option. Right? Yeah. Prime That's what I time. Said, yeah. Prime time. Bill okay. Murray. Hey, thank it's you. Definitely a TSA classic. Yes, sir. We got the Bill Murray going in the bag. Uh, Jed kind of, he's retired from picking out our stuff today. Uh, Dude, y'all been here for too long. <laughs> He just doesn't dude, like you, I guess. We don't ever plan to stay here for this long, I promise you. Like, every time yeah, before we come, we're like, dude, let's let's go here for like an hour. We need to be home by like five. Hours. I'm going to leave it up to you. We're going to go you. pick out a fish surprising, all right? Yep, I got you. Let's do it, Colson. Let's do it. All right, you ready? <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Uh, Stop. All right, we're going to go with the yellow chorus. Ooh. I just picked the one right there. That little yellow thing right there? Yeah. Okay. They're actually really good fish. They're actually one of my favorites, so I'm glad that this tank ended Give up being that. But um, yeah, they actually eat parasites on your coral, so oh, wow. they're always nipping at the rock, looking for little things okay. moving around. Just in case if you did ever get like a hitchhiker on like your rock or something, they'll, they'll take, take care, care of it for it? you. Yep. Um, they do dig in the sand. Um, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes they won't come out like for a day or two, but this guy's been pretty good. He eats really well as well. So Sweet, overall, dude. just a really good fish. Right, pop a so, color. Uh, Let's uh let's bag him up, dude. Yeah, you guys, we're gonna need some names down below. I don't want to hear nothing like let's name him Banana. That's that's too basic. All right, we're gonna need a cool name for that little guy. As you guys can see, he is us. Banana. <laughs> Colson actually brought me brought me a couple frags from his own personal tank, you guys. So uh, nothing here, crazy. nothing crazy, but dude, look at that chalice. It's got the Roger Rampage. Come on, bro. Insane chalice. That is a um, little frog skin tour, and then okay. I can't remember the name of this one, but it does have some but whatever nice it is, balls. it's pretty cool, all right? Well, uh, so you guys, SBA. big shout out to Colson. Make sure you guys go and show him some love on his channel. Appreciate That's it. Colson's credit. He's going to leave that right here. Oh, wow. Yo. 
Hey guys. Those are cool too. Those things are pretty neat. I've actually never seen them before until they came in this one time, obviously. It's uh, kind of like a bar gobi, right? Yeah, it's kind of like these zebra bars over here. Paul which, has hold those. on, I gotta show you this. This is cool. I'm sure Paul doesn't, but ready? Oh, I already caught the fish, but. <laughs> Look at these guys, ready? You can pick them up. Oh my goodness, bro. They're and, just like cool. And they come dude? back, they come back. Dude, like we got these yesterday, look at him. and they already let you pick them up. It's That's crazy. crazy. And they're honestly the most friendly fish in the really? shop. I'm it's just nice. leaving it all up to you, all right? Some nice oxygen. Let me in get here. this. Okay. Look at that, Switch. nice and plump, baby. This is a big shot of the Check my work. Check my work. Feel it. Plump. Bro, well, that's plump. That's all how right. we like that's it. That's how we do it. My guy's got the brass all bagged up. Yes, sir. We've walked into this room once before, and we are walking into that room again. You guys, look at the size of this fish tank. That would be quite the upgrade, am I wrong? This bad boy is 280 gallons. Right. That is about, what, double? It's close. That's it's, about it's double, big. right? Yeah. So you guys, Where how many likes? I would say a solid seven. I want it gone. Look, listen to seven this guy. Likes. Listen to this guy. Seven likes in it's You can't just give it to me for free. <laughs> Zero likes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One more like. Let's say 15 15K. 15K. 15,000 likes, you guys. And we will come back That's with wild. Paul, of course, because we're going to need a truck to load this thing. Thanks I'm sorry, bro. Sorry. we be here another year now. But um, <laughs> you, you guys, let's prove Jet wrong. 15K likes as he thinks he's going to be here for another year before we reach that goal. But uh, everyone, everyone, else everyone watching, watching yeah. just smash the like button. Just smash that like button, dude. Just give me a thumbs up, you guys. 15,000 likes and we'll do a massive upgrade. This thing 15, is... 15,000 likes and G will spend $15,000. There you go. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What? No. One mic equals one dollar spent at Top Shop o'clock. You heard it here. <laughs> yeah, 15k likes, you guys, and we'll come back. Me and Paul. Maybe I we'll never said like I'm the coming seventh back. time here at Top Shop. I never, uh, said, I'm never said I'm coming. You will come and pick this thing up, and you're coming back, bro, because I need your truck, right? I'm never. And coming And you give back. me the keys, I can <laughs> <laughs> This place is dangerous. It, it, it is dangerous. Well, with that being said, you guys, I will see you at the house. All right. Am I getting the VIP treatment again? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 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 Let's this go. time it's really VIP. This time I'm gonna be nice, right? Gonna have the stuff. Will you please bring my stuff to the car? I will. Thank yes. you. Farm coral, arm. Yep. Oh, your fish is in here too. Yep. And then the coral I gave you. There you go. Thank you, bro. Anytime. Thank you, thank I'll you. I'll get you something cooler next time. Hey. This right. is just like last minute. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. It's just gonna break. Look, this is Paul, How am I and this is me. Hey, but you know what? The difference between the two. It's got a lot bigger tank. Hey, but Paul also didn't get a whole order of corals in, so if you guys haven't seen that video yet, don't watch that. Yeah, where would you like your corals? Look at this, you guys. Look at the service we get. Thank you, bro. Anytime. Thank you, bro. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. I love you. Oh my God. Too, buddy. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'll see you guys when we are back at the house with our coral, with our fish. Super excited, you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video over at Top Shelf. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in front of the 90 gallon with our fish and our corals. Take a guess where we are. Just kidding, everybody. We are home finally. It is never an early day whenever we hit Top Shelf, you guys. Let's just uh, say that we are here. We are in front of the 90 gallon fish tank. Uh, everything is looking great, you guys. All the corals are doing amazing. Uh, hold on, actually, hold on, I got something for you guys. So. And now I don't know how well this one is gonna fit on my camera because it is so, so small, but it should definitely do the job here. Look at that, you guys. I got myself a little mini orange, orange lens for my phone, so bear with how it looks on my camera, but you guys can see all the true colors now. How amazing is that? We've got our little double trouble. We've got our PC rainbow in the back there. We've got our bird's nest. We've got all of our digitatas right there, the three reds. I don't remember which acro that is. There's the cherry bomb in the back, which we got a new frag of today because one of my emerald crabs was messing with it. We've got our red little Gandhi up there. We've got our sunburst monopora, I wanna say. Some other acro, some other acro. We've got our purple stylophora. We've got our organ tour right there. We've got our holy grail rainbow chalice, our lepto, our laffy taffy. Of course, the clownfish, like look at how cute that little guy is, as well as his brother back there. We've got the Sephastia, the pink branching Sephastia. We've got the sun, the mystic sunset monopore right there's that red piece. You guys, the tank is looking pretty dang legit. We are almost probably done filling this thing with some corals. Of course, we had to pick up some coral today. 
And I just left it kind of in the hands of Jed and Colson to pick out what kind of corals I was going to be leaving with today. So let's see what we've got inside of these bags, you guys. Let's get them floated. Let's get them acclimated to my water temperature. And then we will be taking them out of the bags, gluing them onto the rocks. You guys already know the deal. And uh, we also got our fish, our little yellow wrasse, our little quarry wrasse, I want to say it's called, or chorus wrasse, whatever that may be. And I'm in a bubble right now. I don't know if I'm going to be quarantining that fish with Tommy or not. But uh, I'm sure I'm going to end up quarantining with Tommy just to play it safe, you guys. Now, I know corals are clean. You can see things on corals. But with the fish, you guys, they could have internal parasites. You never really know what you could get into with these fish. So we are going to quarantine that. Play it safe. We don't want to mess with any of our other fish that we know are quarantined. And we don't want to mess with them. We don't want any diseases in the tank. I just started the tank. I just really kind of got my holy grail corals in the fish tank. So I don't, I don't have room for mistakes right now. Uh, anyways, you guys, let's float these corals and see what we've got. We are actually upgrading here. This is the little 20. It's looking a little dirty, a little rough right now, but major, major upgrade from the 20 to this 50 gallon, you guys. This is going to be insane, awesome little project that we are gonna be taking into our hands. We are going to be getting this thing running up by Monday. So in one of my next videos, you guys will actually see this probably up and running. I'm not gonna do a whole video on it because I didn't get, <laughs> I didn't really film much. Paul was just like, yo, take this tank right now. The only way you can have it is if you take it today. So I was like, all right, let's load it up inside of the car. Didn't even have time to film anything. So we're just gonna have to throw it in as filler in one of my next videos, you guys. But this is the 50 gallon innovative marine. We are gonna be quarantining everything in here, observing it. We're gonna just send the fish straight in there as well. We've got everything acclimating right now. We've gotten our little wrasse. Look at how amazing he is. We've got our cherry bomb. We've got our Maleficent. And we've got our Bill Murray. You guys, the one that we are putting inside of this tank, it's the one that came out of the farm. It is that grafted capping monopore right there. It's gonna look amazing in here as that grows. The different colors of that is like a bright green with a crazy red. We are going in with our piece of Bill Murray. That is our frag of Bill Murray going right, right on top. Let's follow Mr. Bill Murray with our yellow wrasse. Here you guys with that little chorus wrasse. So long, buddy. There you are. There you go. There he is. Inside of the little 20. Probably looking around like, where the heck am I? Who are these clownfish that I'm living with? And look at these rocks. But that is that. That is the chorus rest. I think I'm saying that right. Super, super bright and beautiful. You guys, look who came out to say hello. We got our little harlequin shrimp down here. Probably looking for a nice little starfish to chew on. But that is that. There's our wrasse. Hey, buddy. That crazy bright yellow is honestly amazing. Oh, and he's going into the sand. You guys just saw that. That thing is in the sand now. Bye-bye. This is our little frag of Maleficent. Let's, uh, let's set this one down right about there and hope that that is the flow that it likes. We are following the Maleficent with our nice frag of Cherry Bomb. Absolute studly, studly piece here. I think that'll do for right now. I might end up moving it around a little bit, but who knows? I totally forgot about the frags that Colson had given us. Look at this chalice right here. Absolutely dime of a piece. We've got that, I don't know what that thing is called in the back, that really branchy looking Acropora, but I don't know if it's an Acropora. We'll just have to figure it out or we'll just have to ask Colson, but you guys, make sure you guys should go and show him some love because he didn't. He didn't have to do this today. Uh-oh. There it is. Look at the colors on that thing. The yellow eyes on it are actually insane. So we hope that that thing will do good as well as that acro looking guy. All of our other acros that we got today from Top Shelf. Big shout out to Top Shelf, you guys. We've got one, well, we've got two more frags to unbag is good. We've got one more from Colson, and then we've got our grafted monopora. We've got that last frag from Colson inside of the 20 gallon. Our last step before we wrap this video up for you guys is we need to grab that little grafted monopora. We've gotten the glue on the frag. Here that frag is. Let's get this bad boy. We're gonna tuck this thing right off the side of this rock right here. So that is the best shot that we are gonna be able to get 
of that grafted monopora. That is our grafted monopora. It's a capping monopora, so it's not gonna encrust the rock. It's actually gonna grow those big plates, like a big old bull that is gonna be grafted red and green. So the colors are there. This tank is starting to look amazing, everybody. We have got so many corals inside of this fish tank now. The only thing that we are missing is one, some more coral, of course, and two, you guys, we need to get some fish in this fish tank. We are still waiting on that naso tank that we got from Top Shelf. So he should be ready any day now. He is still doing great. He's at Tommy's. And then we are also going to be doing a fish shopping spree here pretty soon, you guys. We are going to be heading over to Tommy's and picking out a bunch of fish, a bunch of tangs, some anthias. I mean, I'm not gonna eat I'm not going to give you guys the whole list, but trust me, make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed so you guys are in tune whenever we drop that video, whenever we head down to Tommy's and go and pick out some awesome, awesome fish for the 90s. So with that being said, everybody, that'll wrap it up for today's video. Like I said, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed so you guys are in tune whenever we do make that trip down to Top Shelf. You guys never want to miss it because it's always a banger. But you guys, that is that for the 90 gallon. So I will see you guys on next week's episode. You guys, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Peace out.